Now on to the show tonight, the Greensboro Concert Band. Look at these 65 enthusiastic, wonderful volunteer musicians. That's right. These are volunteers who work so hard with weekly rehearsals, weekly rehearsal, practicing, preparing for all of the different concerts they do through the Music Center's Opus Concert Series, also for Music for Sunday in the Park. They do different concerts throughout this summer concert series. So we want to welcome to the stage the Greensboro Concert Band under the direction of Dr. Evan Feldman. And please stand as we recognize our country. Nathaniel Parks, who sang our anthem with us. Where's Nathaniel? There he is, right? This... Nathaniel just graduated as a Gardner Webb uh, with a degree in music and is going to go. He's also a composer, right? Yes. So cool. We thank him for singing with us. And his mom also plays on the ensemble, so I'm going to embarrass her. Cynthia, raise your hand. There she is. Yay. Okay. <laughs> so, of course, we started with the Star Spangled Banner and we continued on with a piece by Rick Kirby called An American Fanfare. And if you listened closely to that piece, you heard America, My Country, Tis of Thee was embedded within the fanfare. So it makes two of the big three American patriotic tunes that we've played so far. We're going to continue with America the Beautiful right now in a beautiful arrangement by Carmen Dragon. It's kind of the standard arrangement for this. You'll hear it a couple times with a, a cool uh, harmonic twist here and there. Here's America the Beautiful.
So there have been, I think, five Pirates of the Caribbean movies starring a, I don't know, quasi-drunk uh, Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow. And this summer was the fifth, I suppose, and it flopped badly, unfortunately. Anyone see the fifth movie that came out this summer, Pirates of the Caribbean? Was it good? You did like it? All right, so it was unfairly flopped. Um, so you also saw the fourth movie, I'm assuming, right? On Stranger Tides. And that we've got a little bit of a medley of tunes from that. I think a lot of the themes, if you like the original Pirates or start any of them, a lot of them like Star Wars melodies are always in the movies. And this one is no exception. Uh, with melodies and orchestrations by Hans Zimmer. It's kind of the new John Williams of the day, writing things like um, Batman and Inception and all those sorts of movies. So he's one of the most popular film composers of today. So here is Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. You'll probably recognize a few of these tunes. Thank you. 
So we've got a new Broadway musical or musical and an old one today. We'll start with the old, the Barbara Streisand hit Funny Girl. Raise your hand if you've seen this in any of its iterations. Oh, cool. Okay, so some great tunes here and a wonderful arrangement by Robert Russell Bennett, who was kind of the go-to guy during the day uh, for arrangements and orchestrations of these pieces. So here's a ter terrific melody, Funny Girl, by Jules Stein.
we've got two Sousa marches for you tonight. First is the Thunderer, which if you, um, apparently if you ask Mrs. Sousa back in the day what her favorite of her husband's marches were, um, she would say the Thunderer. Uh, he wrote, of course, you know, um, uh, lots of marches over the course, so for her to pick one um, is pretty amazing. So um, I'm probably going to leave the stage during this and uh, get some audience participation going in some way, form or fashion. So if you see me leave, don't panic. They don't really need me at all. I'm just here for show. So here's Sousa's The Thunderer. I wish I had a picture of people's reactions when the first one went out. Some people were like, oh, cool, a beach ball. Other people were like, a beach ball. What am I supposed to do? A beach ball. And they were amazing. People were like, yeah, let me get to it. And other people were just like oblivious and went, Kung. honey, did something just happen? What's going on? So that didn't, I think so we need to be more compact so there's too much green space. So, uh, but anyway, feel free to keep playing with them to the end of the first half. So um, we have a guest conductor today. His name is Kyoshi Carter. He's a director of bands at Western Guilford High School. Uh, also teaches at the North Carolina um, Governor's School in Raleigh. And we're delighted to have him with us for to conduct our last piece of the first half, the famous March of Aldrez. And Kyoshi will be doing a lot of work with the band next year, so we're excited to have this introduction for the band and for the audience sake. So please welcome Kyoshi Carter to the basketball court.